someone else. And you are? Robert. Robert, nice to meet you, Robert. And we're going to? Print some Barco labels out. Fantastic stuff. For some steaks. What are we going to for some steaks? Right, okay. How are we going to do that? I'm just going to go and get 10 steaks. Right. In order. Yep. And I'll be Fantastic. Okay. Get 10 steaks. Superb. No barcode yet? No barcode yet. We're not doing that. Originally they'll have a barcode on already, but Okay. Right, so let's have a quick look at the uh, the, the scales, okay. One, two, four, three. And what's that code? That's for the 10 ounce rum steak, which these are. Okay, yeah, okay. super. Right, I'm out. Okay. Then we go. Print. Hold the truck. Oh, actually, let's just go back one. This is the traceability on it, it's already been set up. Okay, so we now put the traceability on, right? That's yeah, already on there, yeah. So. so we're now going through the menus and. Uh, print 10. Putting 10 labels. And here they come. And they're now being uh, stuck onto the uh, stakes. Brilliant. Okay. So now let's just have a quick look at what's on the barcode. So, uh, obviously night meats, uh, the product code, the date, uh, traceability code, where it's born in, reared in, cut in, slaughtered in, and kill date, number of items, and used by date. And all that information is held in the barcode at the bottom, which is then used on the final order going out. Excellent. On to the next bit. Okay. Put the estate to the front of the box. Okay, super. Got it. And I'm going to bag the spikes up in the order. Brilliant. That's that order complete. Okay. Okay. So we've got full barcoding, right? Next one. Okay. So why do we need the uh, scanner? What does the scanner do? We're going to produce now. Produce the invoice. Produce the invoice, right? Okay. Straight from the scanner. Okay. So we're now logging in. Logging into the system. That does that sometimes, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so you've got a password, username and password. Which is another thing we need to set up at some point. Okay. So that's a wireless scanner, is it? Wireless scanner, yeah. Okay, and our uh, wireless router is... Alright, so yeah, it's up there on the wall in a secure unit. Okay, brilliant. Got fine, now we've got to select the customer. Okay, so all right, yeah, so now we're selecting the customer. Okay. And then we're ready to scan. Lovely, okay, fine. So we're now going to be uh, scanning it. Scan the order. All we need to do is just select one. Okay. So that's it, it's got the barcode bit in it and everything else. So it's got the date, got the customer. Yep. Super. Yeah, so it's now writing it back to the uh, system. We're just checking the name and address and the delivery address, right? So I know it's, That's it. Excuse right. There's 10 stakes. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. 
Okay, so we've got a quantity of 10, we've got the barcode, we've got the product code, and it's now getting ready to print the details. Yeah, that's fantastic. And by just pressing that, which is a web-based application, it's all done. It's done. So we can now go on to either the next order, next order. and select the next customer. Select the next order. Fantastic, that easy. That right, easy. okay, so next we've got to go and get the uh, invoice, have we? Yeah, now we've got to go and get the invoice. Fantastic. Yeah, and then what happens? We put it into the freezer till it gets dispatched. Ready for dispatch, ready for the driver to come in. Okay, so that's now got the Sage invoice in there. No, 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 Sage, no Sage invoice. No, so, Sage invoice goes with the driver. Goes with the driver. So they'll come in here and pick this up, copy yeah, the invoice and work stuff. We put them out in the boxes. Yep. One box. Yep. So here come in here. Load his van up, look yep. at that one box, put it on his van. Yep. And then get the invoice signed by the by the customer. say he's received it. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got traceability and proof of delivery at the same time. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, fine. Super stuff. Right, thank you for that. It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. It takes so long to scan 30 fillets. Yep. 20, 20 rib eyes, you know, it takes yep. so long. So what we've done, we've had to change the system slightly yep. to say that, okay, make sure there's 30 in the box. Yep. And then put a label that says 30 on the front of the box, so you just stand in one label. Ah. So that's I why like we changed that. it. That's why we had to change it. Okay, right. So for multiple orders, this box for Hamilton has got uh, pork loin chops, got ribeye steak, and fillet steak. That's right. Yeah. And on and the outside of the box, we've yeah. got 50 of those, uh, 30 of those, 10 of those, and one of those. And we just basically do a a, a box label rather than scanning each individual one. Yeah, it takes too long. Right, brilliant. But each of them has got the same traceability code for the batch of 30 states. Yeah, because that's the way we're running at the moment. Right. Eventually we'll have to change that again, won't we? Yeah. It's only on the B side of them, yeah. Okay, great, super. Thank you for that.